In this video, we'll cover the basic functionality of the Matcap Baker plugin for ZBrush 4R8. To start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the Matcap Baker plugin installed. After it is installed, if you navigate up to the Z plugin tab here and open this up, in here you'll find the Matcap Baker. At the top here, I'm just going to click this icon, and this will dock the plugin to the side. Now, the Matcap Baker plugin allows for materials inside of ZBrush to be baked to a texture map using a subtool that contains UV coordinates and subdivisions. Simply select the subtool that contains these, then select the material, and then simply click Bake Out Matcaps. The subtool will be processed using displacement mapping, capturing the sculptural details of the subtool and the material coloring to a 2D texture map. So, as an example of this, I just have a simple model here loaded in of a glove. Now, this model contains seven subdivisions, and if I navigate down to the UV map area and open this up, you'll see that the Delete UV button is active, and if I go to the Texture Map tab, and go to Create, and do New from UV Map, you can see these are what the UV coordinates look like. So in order for the Matcap Baker to process a subtool, it must contain subdivisions and also UV mapping. So I'm just gonna click on this Texture Map here and just turn this off. Now in addition to the UV mapping and the subdivisions that this model contains, it also has some poly painting. So if I navigate to the poly paint area here and turn on Colorize, you can see this is what the poly painting looks like for this model. Now currently, the poly painting is being viewed with the matcap gray material. So if I navigate to the material area over here and open this up, and now select, say, flat color, this will give me a pure representation of what the RGB values look like for the poly paint of this model. So as you rotate around this mesh here, you can see that the texture here is pretty flat. So it's not really showing any of the sculptural detail that this mesh had. So let's say as you're working inside a ZBrush here, you may start switching to different material. So I'll come to the Material tab here and open this up, and then say you'll select something like the Skin Shade 4 material. And now you're getting your model looking like this. So the model's poly paint is still the same as it was with those RGB values, but now it's having the Skin Shade material applied to the surface of the model. So you're getting some nicer results on your mesh. So let's say as you're working with these different materials inside a ZBrush, you want to generate a texture map from these. So to do this, just make sure we have our material selected, and then come over here and simply click Bake Out Matte Caps. Now depending on the resolution of your model, this process could take some time, as the process will look at the subdivisions and the UV coordinates of your mesh and generate a displacement map to capture the lighting information from the material. Now after this is completed, you'll notice you'll have a new texture map that will appear over here. And if you hover over this, you'll see that the lighting information from the material and the RGB values that were stored on your model are now baked into a texture map. So you can see I'm getting some of those lighting variations from the Skin Shade 4 material. Now if you'd like to bake out another texture, you can just come over here and select a new material by clicking on the material area here. So let's select, say, the Sketch Shaded option here. And now just go back to the Matcap Baker and click on Bake Out Matcaps. Now once that completes, you'll have another texture map created and this one now contains the sketch shaded material and the poly paint information. So if I click on this here, you'll see I now have two of these materials generated. So this is the one with the skin shade 4 material, and then this is the one with the sketch shaded material. So as you can see, you can quickly come through and start processing different materials on your models extremely fast. Come over and say select the silver foil bright, which has given me this kind of golden gauntlet look. Go back to the matcap baker and click on bake out matcaps. I'll now get that silver foil bright with the poly paint information generated to a texture map. And you can see the difference between these three maps here, depending on which material I had selected. Now, in addition to just using the basic functionality of selecting a material and clicking out bake out matte caps, you can also enter a flat painting mode. And this will give you further control of how you will generate the 2D texture map. So to use this process, simply hover over the bake out matte caps button and hold down the Alt key and then click. After doing this, you'll get a little alert that's gonna pop up. This is just telling you that the alternate flat painting mode was activated and do you want to continue? So we're gonna hit OK to this. And this will now process the model and you'll be given another little dialog. And this is just telling you that the alternate flat painting mode has completed. And in order to capture this as a texture map, you need to use texture grab doc or document export. So I'm just gonna click that to clear that off there. And now you'll see I'm getting a 2D representation of the texture map. 
Now at this stage, you can come over to the material slider here and you can start changing your materials and you'll see them update on your mesh. So as you come through and select different materials, like say the sketch shaded one, you're gonna see the result happen on your screen in real time. Now in addition to seeing one material activated across the entire surface here, you can now start painting different materials as well. So since my original subtool only had RGB values baked into the poly paint, I need to just first fill my surface here with the material I have selected. So at the top here, I'm gonna make sure I have the material channel active. Then I'm gonna go to the color area over here and open this up. And I'm simply going to do a fill object. This is going to take the material I have selected and then fill the polypane information on the surface of the plane here with that material value. So now that I have that material baked into the polypaint of the object, I now just need to come over the material palette again, open this up, and now I can select another material, say like the silver foil bright, and now I can come across the surface of my mesh here and paint, and you're gonna see that material update in real time. So this is going to allow you to come through and paint materials on your mesh as it's viewed in this flat dimension. So you can start describing different areas on your map here with different material values. Now, after you're happy with the changes you've made, you now just need to generate a texture map from what you see on the screen. So to do this, you can go to the texture map tab up here, and then go down to the bottom and click grab dock. And that will now generate a new map from what you see on the screen here. Or you can go to the document palette up here, open this up, and do an export option here. Now, after you've created your maps with the alternate flat painting mode, to return back to your original scene, you just need to navigate back over to the Matcap Baker plugin and click once again on the Bake Out Matcaps. You'll get another dialog this time telling you that the alternate flat painting mode is currently activated and would you like to return back to the original scene. So we're going to click OK. And after you press OK, your model should now go back to the original way it was where you can see it in 3D. So using the normal Bake Out Mac Caps option, or holding down Alt and clicking Bake Out Mac Caps to activate the alternate flat painting mode, will allow you to capture Mac Cap materials to 2D textures. Now there are some additional options you can activate as well by coming over here and clicking on the Mac Cap Baking options. In here, you'll have various things you can change on how the displacement map and texture map are being generated from the subtool you've selected. For more information on what these options do, you can simply come to the Matte Cap Baker icon here and click, and this will open up a cheat sheet. In here will contain a link to the video you're currently watching, a download link where you can grab the latest version of the Matte Cap Baker plugin, and then additional information on the Matte Cap Baker, along with the basic usage and instructions on the alternate flat painting mode. So that is it for the Matte Cap Baker plugin for ZBrush 4R8. Hope it helps, and happy ZBrushing.